All right, welcome to episode two of um, Vark in Europe. This is the Loz, and uh, in today's episode, we'll have two big games. Um, we have games against Melbourne City and Arsenal, which will be very interesting. Arsenal at home and Melbourne City, of course, in the derby. Um, as it stands at the moment, we'll go into uh, Arsenal City. We sit fourth having four points from the start of the season, whereas Melbourne City sit in the relegation zone with one point to start the season. Uh, in our previous two games against Bournemouth and Newcastle, we came away with a win at Bournemouth and a draw at Newcastle as we crack on with the Melbourne Derby Premier League style. So uh, this will be interesting. Uh, we're going unchanged uh, into the Derby from the Newcastle game. Of course, in the hope that we can uh, secure all three points against our biggest rivals. It's a privilege so, to be here today for this very special fixture. Here we go, the Melbourne Victory, Melbourne City, Premier League derby. Each other, these two teams, it is a very special um, day. A win for the victory, seven points from the first three games, which is a pretty good return, considering uh, we are in the Premier League and we are up against... Uh, much stronger opposition than we were, what we would be in the A-League, so... Alan Smith is with me, I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have you company intro for this there. match today. Um, only time you'll ever see anything, an, an intro today. like that, is on the... What um, do you think, Alan? I don't think this team, the players themselves, on FIFA. expecting much from this season, I, fully expecting to be struggling, but... Uh, I doubt they'll ever be an awesome. Auburn derby in real life in the Premier League, so... This is the closest we'll get. Well, they can be... Really, the heartbeat yeah, of the we'll team, these central midfield players, and we've got a new we'll get this underway. Victory City, this, David, this is the down. derby. Well, I'm uh, impressed by the signing, I think he'll give them a bit more composure and in the City middle of the park. Kick us off in the early possession. And he's a good pass for the ball. Halloran gets around Brown. It's a debut for the new forward. Headed away from Deng, yeah, and, and Tonus with a lovely clearance with a point of which he's a lap. And O'Halloran to lap. Lovely City starting positively early. Line up for the home side. Richie Delat starts despite looking shaky in recent games. To get the ball out. Honda. With one striker up front. The game winner at Bournemouth. To Barbarossus who can't get around his defender. And Melbourne City will clear. Well, four, four, two for them today. Momentarily. Well, we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Oh, it's cut out. A chance here for City to move the ball well. Any danger to the goal has gone and they with can't. Clearance. Honda on the ball gives it off to Toivonen. Well, uh, Toivonen finds Jackson Irvine, who uh, replacement for Carvalheri. Barbarus couldn't extend far enough to get that ball. City on the counter. Here's Dario Vidicic. Going forward well. Gets a round storm through. Deng forces him into a corner. But they're still, in the attack here. They're still on the ball, the and end. Irvine clears well, lovely clearance here from Jackson Irvine. And it could be the counter play. on here for the victory but if we can. Toivonen, Barbarossa, if he's quick enough, he can get to the ball. The oh, Barbarossa and Delat. Delat gets a clearance away, but we get the throw in. Oh no, City get the throw in. Okay. It seemed it was hoofed away from Delat, but I don't know. This game's just, this game's just weird when it comes to stuff like that. You'd think you get one thing and it goes to the other team. It's just weird. We've given it straight to the opposition. Brown. Lovely ball. Looks for Irvine. Nearly gets there, but the ball finds another another City player. City have been dominant in the first 20 minutes or so of this game. On FIFA time as Brown. Toivon and lovely Brown. Uh, interplay with Brown. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Looks for Irvine. Maybe a chance here. Honda, Honda. he's put on the angle, the goes up. for it, and nearly Off scores. Barbarossa's can't That's quite get problem. around it. Betting game. O'Halloran. Oh, how unlucky. Were they just then? The Mel Melbourne victory. Think Best chance of the game the for door. Melbourne victory They'll so far. Find a way through. Thought Honda was in, and it was 1-0. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. City look for an opening. Can't find it. Thomas Deng. Thomas Deng has pressure, been immense say. in the first two games of this season, especially against Bournemouth when we're under we're under so much pressure for so long. 
And Deng just held that back line under fire. And, oh, geez, playing at the back. I don't know if that worked off. I don't know if that was going to work out for us. This could be costly, and it isn't. Lawrence Thomas is equal to the task, and we... We get off lucky. Honda. Maybe the counter-attack is on here. Dorm Roo, lovely pass. ball in. He's got Irvine on his own. Tries the... the defenders managed to get in the way couldn't there. seem to... Find a way around. So, City back on the ball. Oh. Irvine. Very nearly. Now, can he take them on? Got boots of ball. O'Halloran. It's taken deflection off Irvine and comfortably into Lawrence Thomas's arms. And Melbourne Victory can load up again. Honda. Good work, really. Couldn't get around. Intention of the pass. Midfield chance here. Pass. Oh, City are in. No, they're not. Out. And Lawrence that Thomas. For the goalkeeper from that true ball. These fans think that was a definite penalty. City fans calling for a penalty. I don't think so. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Might have been a bit lucky to get off there, knowing what FIFA referees are like, but yeah. Thankfully, there's no VAR in this game. Otherwise, we would be, we'd be proper stuff. Irvine. Ah, couldn't shape the cross. Well away from the danger zone. Antonis. Looks for Honda. And that's the first half. City have definitely been more dominant, I feel. Um, but we've had the best chance of the half with Honda hitting the post. for that halftime whistle. We've not really been kept on the edge. Interesting second half coming up. Here. That's for and sure. I'm so sure we go to the sheds at nil-nil. Well, so we have a look at the stats. Coming into the second half, we will see that um, yeah, City have dominated possession. We've had more shots and more shots on target. And yeah, other than that, it's just really been a dead game. Nothing, you know, maybe a couple of tackles, no fouls, no cards. No corners even, so yeah, definitely. Uh, Here we yeah, go just in the second half. <laughs> just be one of those games. See what happens now in the second half. Than the first half provided. Yeah, Victory managers. Kick off Honda. Both managers got a bit of work to do just to, to G Great them up. challenge. A bit of urgency in the legs. There's Richie Delat. Gives it off to Scott Jamison. Jamison finds Vidicic. Vidicic finds. What's to get at him? And he's got a pender who's got around his opponent here. And that's, an, that's and another Deng save. Amazing stuff from Thomas Deng. Now to Toivonen. Toivonen to Honda. Ah, oh, Honda tried to get around Jamison, but couldn't do much. We're hearing that Chelsea are moving in for a new signing, an expensive new signing. Well, I have Honda. Heard all sorts oh, of no, no, this could be dangerous. City look to capitalise here. Good block. And the He's shot just goal. goes wide. Effort, that, with of the first substitution yeah, of the game has been confirmed. Really James Tracy will they? make way for Carl Valeri. Let's see what happens from this point on. Ready to make a change. Oh, Niedermeyer just it coughs it up in midfield. City look to try to switch on the attacking power in this situation. City look to turn this game up a notch, but just can't seem to find the right pass in the area. Now we're going to have an alteration. It's like a stalemate for the time being. Victory. Victory there in the first two games of the Premier League season have scored two late goals. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. To put themselves in a good position. It's one back. Of course, 89th minute against Bournemouth and the 80th minute against Newcastle. And the ball that in. City did very well to keep that in. Irvine. Barbarousas. Trying to get the ball gets in inside behind. of Stormroo. He's got and Jackson Irvine on. Pass. He uses him. Irvine. Right Irvine with a chance. Right Irvine goal. with the goal. And there it is. The breakthrough. One nil. So the captain, captain Jackson Irvine buries it. With a fine goal, was a good goal, and it came at a and Melbourne victory lead. Time, I think, for his side. The captain's input there. And while we're at it, the substitution will be made. This Honda for Hope. Here. 
for the team that is leading. And it's clearly a tactical one to try and... So victory, take the lead position. in the first and Premier League Melbourne Derby. And opened the scoring, 1-0 here. What can City do? They have on the clock 20, 20 minutes, minutes to, go. to respond. The home team about to make a change. In the area, Josh Hope. Here after this half, half clears it. Irvine's there. It's a good place to win the ball here. Danger's not entirely gone for victory. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. The shot's on! Not far away at all. Shot for goal. Still behind. But they're well on top. What's happened here? Be confident they'll get another chance at the least. yellow card. He's gone back, the referee, to book Laura Antonis. Let the play go on. It and good. looks like it won't be. Official, uh, but he's quite entitled to book the player now. He won't go any further than that. that. Wasn't he? It was a silly challenge, and uh, yes, you play advantage, but he's Thomas got to hook it away, which he does. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Well, what happens here? Toivonen. Still with Toivonen. Gives it off to Irvine. Irvine and Josh Hope. Hope now inside of Storm Roo. Storm Roo now. Into the area. Honda! One in front. They no, it wasn't Honda, it was Toivonen. I had subbed Honda off. Really could have been. Yeah, Fuck's sake. Might they look back on that Part of my French. Because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Oh, I thought that well, was enough. This fullback has covered every blade of grass on either side of the pitch. He's not going to quite go the distance here, uh, but what an energetic performance, eye catching. Yeah, and he's had the measure completely of his winger today. He's had him in his pocket, and uh, that winger will be pleased to see the back of him. Josh Hope, lovely cut. Barbarus wasn't able to get there in time. Well, we've only got seven minutes remaining now. City go forward. Well, the atmosphere There's still time for now. them, but the question the is, team need to what can they do? They're still in with a shout. Yeah, That's not time it. Time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. Ola Toivonen. Parker. No. Ball. Is it enough? Just no, it's it not. Away from the attacker, the goalkeeper. And Melbourne victory. Look to ice this game off. Crowd uh, be expected a bit more, but two added minutes. Blue two Brown. Pass, pass. Goes in Jackson Irvine to win it. And he has. And that will be the derby. Melbourne victory. They take seven points from their first three games. And Jackson well, Irvine, the captain's got a brace. Josh Hope with a lovely assist. Style, just That's like the, the game. One. Melbourne victory. Restarting a two Win nil. the first Premier League derby. And Melbourne City will remain in the relegation zone. 2-0 the, the final oh, score. Oh, victory the win. Around the town now by this victory over their neighbours. Shopping now, rather than the losers who will be hiding at home, I think, for the next three days. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. So often we think of his creative abilities. There you go, it's a 2 0 win to the victory in the derby. As we look at another result, Sydney FC got done in by Fulham. Always good to see Sydney lose. Excuse me. So that puts us up to third on the Premier League table. We're behind Arsenal and Leicester. And uh, we've got deadline day. Fantastic. We'll just quickly skim through that. I feel we don't need to sign anybody just yet, but I think this is the test for us. This is... If we can at least get a good result in the next game, it'll show us that uh, exactly how we can... what we're going to do this season... Is what I'm trying to say. So basically, Arsenal away, well, Arsenal at home. As soon as we get transfer deadline day done, we can get to that game and uh, see to it from there. So hopefully, hopefully a good result comes from it. I mean, I'll be happy to take a draw against Arsenal. 
In fact, when I did this on the previous FIFA, I actually beat Arsenal the first time I played them, so... Um, let's see what happens here. Arsenal versus Melbourne Victory. Uh, we will go in unchanged um, from the side that beat Melbourne City. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's crack on. Massive game. Um, again, as I said before, it'll determine where we go this season. One of the most coveted forwards around, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Young, top scorer in the league this season. He's got that magic touch. That and it's live up against. It's just going to be too good. I feel. But the beauty about something like this Welcome is you never know. Martin you never know Tyler, what's with Alan Smith, Alan around the corner. Yeah, I think so. Martin is a really Especially in a game like this. Okay. A match today is Melbourne victory against Arsenal. Yeah, two teams that have enjoyed decent starts quite high. I mean, I'm just table. happy to, I'm happy them, to stay in the Premier League uh, this season. A really exciting class if anything. But so far. It's a long season. We'll see where this goes. So, top of the table clash. Victory versus Arsenal. Victory in an early season lineup. top of the table clash. Yeah, four, four, two for them Didn't today, think I'd be saying that at the start of this career mode. Of course, that'll in the have to wait on a result for Leicester think, City uh, if we do win this game. But to provide the width in this shape. This is the Arsenal lineup. Ben as Leo things look now, Monreal starts alongside who knows? Bayerin in the fullback positions. Henrik Mkhitaryan starts. He was man of the match last time out. And just oh, one poor pass. Nacho Monreal. Morel, Jaka, Mesut Özil. All the pointers for victory not, today go to Arsenal. They're not letting us have much of the football, are they? Very skilled. These passes may look easy, but here's Özil. Özil, chance. And he went with a slide tackle. Has he gone? He's taking his team no, he hasn't. He has own. not right conceded football. the penalty. He had conceded the corner. I'll handle that. Short corner designed Conceding to a penalty, the not so much. In the middle. As He's cut it back come in again, Storm Rue. Monreal. Almost certain he'd score that. Well, Storm Rue, perhaps lucky not to concede a penalty there. The handball. As short Arsenal corner. play it short again. Oh, smart enough to get around. He's Free rain the in the area. Here. There could be 1 0 up here really with away. Corey Brown. Clearance. With the clearance. And in he goes with the tackle. Honda couldn't get around his opponent. And Arsenal clear it again. Aubameyang. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Could whip it in from here. Only Chance of Corey clears, Brown again so clears it away. And Tonus now looking to get out, and they do. Finds Jackson well, Irvine, Arsenal. who actually in Bournemouth career mode, he played pretty well against Arsenal. A shadow of a doubt. Four Honda couldn't, three games. couldn't find Honda really does look in that instance. Is That's funny. Toivonen's the front man. He's not scored this season. But space for him. Honda now, has, Irvine has, and Barbarossas has. Bit he's not on this. On obviously in real out. life. Toivonen's just a beast. Now Brown. Brown. Crossing. Irvine to Troisi. So Toivonen. Barbarossas. This isn't a bad build-up play. Barbarossas flips over to Rue. Rue gets around his man very nicely, finds Irvine, Irvine, and Tonus, chance, the it's come off the defence. Barbarousas, couldn't play it improperly. And a clearance, this time he had Arsenal scrambling back after a couple of their chances early, went begging. Rue, Troisi, Terry Antonis. And Tonus, Brown, Toivonen. Is this the moment for him? He's just not quick enough. Defending from him. He's just not quick enough. Now Brown. Brown. Troisi, you know, he lost one from range. And he very Tries nearly got, down, on the, got a good piece of that too. You have a look. It's rising. It does dip. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't that far off. It gave it gave Leno something to think about. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. 
Well, this attack. And Barbarossa plays it. it straight to the opposition. Thanks, Martin. Uh, Arsenal. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Arsenal, very stable in many ways. In Montreal. Ownership. Yeah. Nice little uh, interplay there. Well, the Bamiyang scores, he's but frustrated because he is caught offside. Maybe he he'll be chalked a off. Too soon. Prassi. Well, Tracy very nearly the split the defence. The deal with that. We'll split the midfielders. Enterprising play from Arsenal in the. And shoots. Oh, that, I think that was a Bamiyang. A bit flown in, but in the end, it wide. didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. Here's Brown, Prassi, Henrik Mkhitaryan, Mesut Özil. Uh, well, the ball's been, the game's been played mainly in Melbourne's half. Arsenal have another two had very little. Through. Oh, maybe a chance here for Barbarousas. He gets inside and around. Down, he doesn't. And they'll have to try again. And that'll be the half. The ball's mainly spent. Well, the time is mainly spent in Arsenal's half. Very rarely well, crossed the over average comes to, mind about his first half. to where Melbourne think, victory Alan? were, but it is what it is. Could say from this lad. Not the worst thing in the world, but at the same time, it's not the best thing in the world either. Let's see what happens in the second half. As we take a quick look at the stats. Two shots each. Arsenal have had more of the ball. Two tackles to one. One offside and two corners in Arsenal's favour. So, pass accuracy. Arsenal are all over it. But We've held our own. See what happens in the second half. Hopefully. So here we go with the second half. We can pull a result out. Mesut Ozil. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. That's a good spot by the defender. Honda. Brown. Probing with the pass. Irvine. Is, is this the moment for the victory? Toivonen. He's in here. And he scores. Romantic two. They've got the lead. All of Toivonen scores his first of the season. This could be one heck of a result. And Melbourne and for the underdogs, take a, a take moment. a shock lead. It's a brilliant moment. What they're going to do is calm down now and settle and make sure. And if we can hold on, we could be going <laughs> to the top of the Premier League. Still a long way to go in this one. Open the scoring one nil here. Jacka. Now Mkhitaryan. Bamiyan gets turned by Irvine. Lovely stuff from the captain. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Troisi showing why Graham Arnold didn't pick him. Attacking well here. Bellerin versus Antonis. Bellerin wins the first duel. And the second. That's his game, uh, isn't it? Intercepting. And Jorg Niedermeyer clears it. To level it up now. Chance to level it up. Get away from and put it wide. Mezud Ozil. Well, they've got to keep the faith, but they appear to be losing a bit now. Well, long overdue, you feel this change for a side that's behind. A switch of tactics now. And Turnus. They have spent the big bucks. Corey Brown. Well, he arrives with a reputation and a bit of a price tag now, around fifty million pounds. Swivenen. Can he handle it? Troisi. Irvine tries to turn. Shots Croisi up. tries to shoot. To get in the way there. No one. Well, that's proper no one managed to get around it. From there, it's out of play. Well, now they're behind. They've got to Where's Honda? Try and switch that's around. what they were trying for. Here comes a substitution. Ramsey. Mesut Ozil. Ramsey. Here's 
chance for Arsenal. It's one back. Chance for Arsenal. How are they not? Oh, the sliding in's dangerous. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Now a dangerous attacking position. And York has made the save. Still 20 minutes to go. Absolutely amazing stuff. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. Trying to steer it through. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Yeah, Honda Teubman and first of the ball. He looks for Honda, he just can't find him. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Now Mickey Tarian. It's a very good interception. Very, very tense at the moment, this game now. Oh, Brown's in so much space. He was now in paddocks of space. Attack. He goes the low the option, but doesn't... The they just the can't quite work it at the moment. Ten to go. Throw it. And Arsenal are going to bring on some fresh legs. Antonis. Brown. Ooh, goal kick. kick. Eight minutes to go. Can we hold this? Ramsey. Hector Berry. Well, we've only got seven minutes remaining now. Ramsey, Welbeck, Bellerin. Here's a chance to go down the outside. Mkhitaryan. Oh, he's beaten his opponent. Mkhitaryan's target is in the middle there. Oh, Rue. Rue loses oh, out, but defending. manages to clear. Barely. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front. They're need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final and whistle. Antonis yeah, if they do end up winning finds this, Brown. They have their fans to thank because they've been too to oh. And they get it away. Very nearly sealed it too. And in time coming up, there will be two minutes of it. And two to be added and on. Well back they're away. The Arsenal are away. This is probably their best chance yet. Melbourne scrambling back. And York sends it well. high. It's one last attack. Can they this get is it, last roll of the dice, you'd think. It. it won't go. And Melbourne it, victory. On the whistle from the Top of the Premier League. Well, given their status in the match, Alan, clearly underdogs. Unbelievable stuff. With the way they played. I think so. Yeah, they can take Melbourne victory. A lot from this performance. Have beaten Arsenal. Moving forward, might not have got the result I they hate wanted, to think what the Arsenal, well. if this happened in real life. Well, he's had a very what would, good game, what would happen on he? Arsenal Fan TV yeah, after something game, like this? It's a monumental there, result, whatever way you look goal, at it. All right, I, I think our game at the Emirates late season will be tougher. But for what it is now, we're top of the league. Provided Leicester's result, which I believe they won. We're about to find out to close this episode. We are going to close this episode now with the, the league table. Liverpool are sitting top of the Premier League with 10 points. Melbourne victory with 10 points, sitting in second. And Leicester City sitting third. So there's the table. While the other Australian teams, Sydney FC and Melbourne City, sitting in the relegation zone, yet to win a game. But still one point better off than West Ham, who haven't won a game yet. All right. As we look ahead to the next instalment of Vuck in Europe two absolutely massive games we are going to Stamford Bridge and we are going to play Manchester City at home um, and then in a couple of in a couple of episodes time we have Sydney FC so yeah massive two episodes to look forward to as well as a cup game so um, stick around thanks for watching like and subscribe and I'll see you next time